Griffin Hoverwork has a strong reputation within the commercial and rescue sectors. We have passenger service operators, coast guards from Canada to Kuwait, and airport rescue teams all over the world, using our craft to their full potential. Hovering just above the surface of water or land gives the hovercraft two key advantages, amphibious operation and high speed. In the ferry roll, this allows a hovercraft to take the fastest, most direct route in shallow coastal waters. A high-speed hovercraft passenger service can be set up quickly and cheaply. A simple slipway or even a beach is all that's required for passengers to embark and disembark. And the tides have no impact on operations. Hovercraft are useful where there's large areas of shallow water. For example, at Ride, the beach can go out for about a mile at low tide. It's difficult for conventional ferries. You need a lot of infrastructure, piers and jetties and so on, whereas a hovercraft can largely just go from beach to beach with a minimum of facilities. Hovercraft are considerably faster. They can do more crossings per hour than a conventional vessel, whereas this craft can do four crossings an hour. Even a conventional high-speed vessel is only going to do two crossings an hour at the most, so it can shift twice as many people, so it does give it the commercial edge. Griffin Hoverwork Hovercraft have provided the fastest passenger service across the Solent, from Portsmouth to the Isle of Wight, for over 40 years. Carrying more than 800,000 passengers a year, it is a proven, reliable service. And in London, a 2,000 TD passenger service on the River Thames carried hundreds of thousands of passengers over a period of eight years. Our hovercraft were the only craft allowed to operate at high speed along the whole route into central London, since they were the only craft which produced virtually no wash or wake at high speed. In Arctic regions, our hovercraft have revolutionized communications and provide an essential lifeline throughout the year. With boats stranded in frozen seas in winter and virtually no roads outside the capital Nuuk, a 2000 TD carries a mixture of passengers and cargo between the remote communities along Greenland's northwest coast. Operated by the local Inuit people, up-to-date navigation and communication aids ensure accurate and safe journeys, even in whiteouts. Oil companies rely on our craft in Alaska, whilst coast guards in Canada, Kuwait and India operate our larger hovercraft. High-speed amphibious operation make hovercraft ideal for rescue services. In the UK, the Royal National Lifeboat Institute, or RNLI, have added a number of 470 TD hovercraft to their fleet. These have already saved many lives in dangerous coastal shallows and mudflats. And a 380 TD is operated by a British Fire and Rescue Service. It's a very welcome addition to our fleet. Uh, the increased capability it gives us is not just about mud rescues in areas like Western Bay, but also for more general situations like flooding. Uh, our experience in Gloucestershire last year, where we went and responded to help our colleagues there, demonstrated that boats with propellers are not actually the ideal craft for flooding situations. A hovercraft like this is perfect. In Singapore, an 8,000 TD rescue craft patrols the shallow waters around Changi Airport. With a payload of 12 tonnes, the craft can reach any sandy shore quickly in an emergency. Our rescue craft are also in operation around major airports in Auckland and Rio de Janeiro. For high-speed, flexible and cost-effective commercial operations, Griffin Hoverwork has the right solution ready for you.